everyone, this is Danny from creatingawebstore.com and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create group products in Magento. Group products are actually very convenient because they can actually help you upsell items uh, to customers. For example, if you have items scattered around such as I do here, you can actually list all three items in one listing and hopefully uh, have them all sell to the customer at once. This is especially useful if you have items in multiple categories that go well together. For example, say you have a clothing set, a shirt, pants, and shoes. You might want to put them together and uh, sort of uh, show all of them to your customer because otherwise they might not see them and uh, they might not buy all three items. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to create these group products. To start, simply go to your admin panel, then simply go to catalog and click on manage products, and then click on add product and now simply choose your attribute set if you're not familiar with attributes I actually have a video on attributes and attribute sets in this case I will just use default as for product type I will select grouped product and I will click on continue now simply enter in a name I will enter in living room set a SKU I will just enter in my own status I will set to enabled. The URL key you can actually enter in a URL key on your own or you can have it auto generated. If you leave it empty it will actually auto generate the name into a URL key. If you decide to enter in your own I recommend entering only letters, numbers and dashes and make sure that the letters are lowercase. As for visibility I will choose catalog search. If you choose catalog or search uh, your items will only be showed on product listings for catalog and for search it will only be showed in the search engine with not visible it won't be shown anywhere uh, in your store so catalog search basically has your items uh, show up everywhere as for set product as new date from this would be the date that you would like the product to be considered uh, new on and set product as new uh, to date would be the date that you would like uh, the item to stop uh, being considered as new this is especially useful if you're using uh, the new product uh, listing widget on your home page or anywhere else. I will just leave this empty. As for country of manufacture, you can enter in a, a country or you can leave it empty. I'll just enter in a country. And then we simply click on meta information. In the meta title, I will enter in my item name. For keywords, I will enter in uh, keywords which are relevant to my item and I will separate each of the keywords with a comma for the meta description I will make sure to keep it short limited to 255 chars and now we can move on to images I actually have pictures of all three items together and I also have pictures of each individual item I will actually upload all of these uh, pictures so I will simply uh, select all of them and then I will upload now I will simply locate the picture where I have all three uh, pieces in one and I will select this one as my main uh, picture I will also change the sort order so that this picture comes up uh, first and that will be by changing this to one and by changing this to three in the description I will simply enter in a long description as well as a short description and in the short uh, description I will just enter in living room set as for design I will leave it as is as for gift options I will uh, have it as a uh, no if you'd like to uh, give your customers the ability to include a gift message during checkout you can simply change this to yes as for inventory I will change stock availability to in stock because if I don't uh, the listing won't show up as for websites I will choose my main website for categories I will choose uh, my furniture category 
and then I will choose living room as the subcategory. As for related products, I'll just leave everything as is. If you'd like to learn more about related products, upsells and cross-sells, I actually have a video on this. And for associated products, this is where I will choose the items that I want to show up. Note that uh, these items have been created as simple products. If uh, you do not know how to create a simple product, I actually have a video on this. So after watching this video, you can uh, simply watch that video for more information. So now I will simply locate my items. And here they are. And I will simply check them off. And I will click on save. And now my item has been saved and we can view it in our store. And here it is. And now people will have the option of buying all three items together or individually. Note that if you'd like, you can even prevent the individual items from showing up in your store by simply changing the visibility on them. For example, we can actually change the visibility on the ottoman by simply going to visibility and changing it to not visible individually and clicking on save. And then when you go back to your category page, the ottoman will no longer be visible and it will only be visible in the living room set listing. So that's that. Thanks for watching, stay tuned for more videos and also be sure to check out creatingawebstore.com.